Purton here on behalf of the Australian Leadership Project. Um, we're very grateful that the Honourable Christopher Pine, the Australian Minister for Defence Industries and Leader of the House of Representatives, joined us to talk about Australian leadership and what inspires him. What are the great stories of Australian leadership? Well, the story that uh, the stories that I guess I focus on are the kind of leadership that I think Australians uh, respect and understand. And the thing to me in the last 20 or 30 years that's been very, very clear in terms of leadership in Australia is that it's unfussy leadership. It's practical leadership. It's not the soaring rhetoric that you get from uh, uh, past history. Uh, especially out of Europe or, or North America. It's more, what do we do that demonstrates our leadership? And I guess in the last 20 to 30 years, the two that really stand out to me are Bob Hawke and John Howard. Obviously two different political parties, but both had very similar approaches to their prime ministerships, which was how do we change Australia and bring it into the 21st century and out of the well-off, uh, sometimes somnambulant um, complacency that had marked Australia for 70 or 80 years. Most of Australia had been very similar in terms of public policy from the early 20th century through to the 1970s. It was the Hawke government that decided to make really significant economic decisions that made Australia uh, the country that it is today, supported by the opposition. And then John Howard, uh, in a different way, he ensured that that was uh, locked in, that was cemented in place. So economically, we went from being a, a, a successful country to a country that has just enjoyed 26 years of unbroken economic growth, the longest period in the history uh, of the modern world, uh, which puts us in the forefront of great countries. That was leadership, Bob Hawke's around industrial relations reform, economic reform, tax reform, followed up by John Howard that, in, that did more on the industrial relations front and did much of the uh, long many decades of, uh, of agreement between unions and, and business and government uh, and tax reform through things like the goods and services tax, getting rid of a whole lot of very inefficient taxes and locking in that uh, economic prosperity that we all enjoy today, that practical leadership uh, that has a much greater impact than a soaring speech which, while not forgotten, doesn't actually necessarily change the country in which we live. And hey Christopher, what do you see as the unique qualities of Australian leadership? Whether it's John Monash, uh, Lord Florey, uh, even Rupert Murdoch, who's one of the great success stories of Australia's modern era, through the politicians that I've mentioned already, uh, the quality of Australian leadership is what's the job that needs to be done and how can I bring together the team uh, and the practical approaches to policy that will actually bring about an outcome. So our leadership in Australia is outcomes focused. Uh, we don't seek uh, baubles or knighthoods or uh, the kind of things that you, know, you, that you normally associate with great success stories in public life. What we seek is outcomes. That's the quality that I think has been the, the difference between Australian leadership and other countries, and it's not leadership that seeks to be acknowledged. Uh, John Howard and Bob Hawke, the two that I've mentioned, and there are others, have seen the outcomes of their governments as the, uh, the future uh, uh, monuments, if you like, to their successful leadership. And hey Christopher, um, what do Australians want of their leaders today? I think Australians want uh, leaders that uh, understand what their concerns are, uh, that that, that put their priorities as the priorities of a leader or a government. Uh, whether it's a Premier of a state, whether it's the Prime Minister of the nation, even the leaders of the opposition, they expect the leaders to understand them as Australians. And fortunately, our leaders come from the great middle class, which is the vast majority of the Australian population here. They come from that background. They understand the people that they represent and then they try and bring about the, uh, the results that they know those people want. So being able to create a job for your, your children, put your children through good schools, get them to university if that's what they want to do, or get them into business and bring about the policy levers that make that kind of country a success that we have been. And 
Christopher, who are the leaders in your life and who's inspired you? Well, I still regard uh, John F. Kennedy as the great uh, example of optimistic leadership. I mean, one of the things that's very important about a leader is to be able to convey to the people that they seek to lead a sense of hope and a sense of optimism. We really underestimate uh, in the Western world the power of hope. We hear so much every day about all the things that are wrong in our society or in the world and we live in a strategically challenging time in history obviously with the capacity through nuclear weapons to destroy the world that we live in. So John F. Kennedy I think was one of the very first leaders uh, in the Western world who understood that power that a, that a leader has to convey hope and optimism to his or her people in a way that brings them forward, that, that means that they leave behind a legacy of uh, we can do something. Now, obviously Obama even adopted that uh, as his slogan. And of course he was a, a great leader in that respect as well. But I think if you read John F. Kennedy's speeches, if you listen to his broadcasts and his television interviews, you, you get that sense that we can do anything if we set our mind to it. And I still regard that as my great inspiration. Well, it's a huge thank you to Christopher Pine for taking the time to share those insights into Australian leadership. If you'd like to read more about Australian leadership or share your views on Australian leadership, please visit our website, www.australianleadership.com. Thank you.